On this episode of Brokering Success, this New York City broker has been doing this for over 20 years. Get this, he's got over 2.5 billion with a B sales under his belt. He's consistently ranked by The Hollywood Reporter, The New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, Variety, as one of the top brokers not only in New York but nationally. And he's a girl dad, that's why I like him. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Stephen Cohn of Douglas Element. Steve, welcome. How's it going? Good, how are you? You're good, you look great. How are the kids? The kids are good, thank you. Let's talk shop for a couple of minutes and then we'll get into some fun stuff. How's the market? The market is what it's been for the last year. It's peculiar. Things are happening. Everything's with some hesitation and trepidation. But when we look back, things are getting done. So, and people are buying and transactions are happening. What's the most challenging part of running a team in 2024? I'd say it's keeping people motivated and keeping them going. And business is harder nowadays, but you got to keep people in there and knowing that, you know, every deal has something around it. And you just, that's what we get paid for. And that's why we're the experts. And that's why people work for us. So you got to hang in there. What's been your most satisfying deal in the last 24 months? It doesn't doesn't necessarily have to be the biggest deal, but what's the most satisfying deal? We, we had a, a very large co-op in a very fine building, prestigious building, prestigious apartment, prestigious sellers and buyers. And there were some bumps along the way and there were some real big personalities involved and just getting that, bringing that to fruition getting it closed and actually selling it more than we anticipated we sell it for, it's been fun. I want you to fill in the blank. Okay. You're selling a wreck. What is your biggest challenge? Showing the vision of the property. A lot of buyers don't have vision. Everything I've bought personally has been a wreck, but I can walk into a space and imagine it, which I love. A lot of buyers can't always see through the wreck. I'll tell you what we've been doing lately. We've had a number of estate sales this year and we've staged them. And I'm just talking painting and furnishings, not like redoing bathrooms, kitchens, none of that, because people are, are gonna tear it all out and do their own sure. thing. But when you stage it and clean it up, it sure. just has a fresh feel and they it takes, you cut 50% down on what they can't see. And you so, get the scary out. And you, you gotta, get the scary. You gotta get I love the scary that. Out. All right, fill in the blank number two. You're now, you're not selling the wreck. You're representing the buyer buying the wreck. What's the right. biggest challenge? The unknown, the scary, and the cost. And while well, we've done this before, that's why I've called you with certain buyers and you've come in and said, okay, here's your range of what this job could cost at the different levels so that they're coming into it. Otherwise, you see this huge wreck and this huge unknown and all the things they're hearing about cost and where they are nowadays. And they run. And that's what it is. They it's run. getting them to have more clarity and more concise idea of what the cost will be. All right, give me your perspective. How, because you've been doing this a long time, how has the business changed and what is it like to run a team different today than it was maybe 10 years ago? Well, I'd say the business has changed 10 years ago, even further there weren't as many teams. The, the whole world of real estate is becoming about teams, these mini brand, mini companies, and that's what we are, where before you had so many more individual agents. So that's completely different, but it used to be, it was a second or third career. Now, residential real estate, I get more calls from kids in college or graduates, just graduating college, saying, this is what I wanna do. Is there one element of your secret sauce that you want to share with young brokers? Because you just made the point, there's a lot of young brokers to make them understand what is different or what is reality against what they see on television, because we all know what they see on television is not reality. I'd say like anything that people think that it's easy and you just unlock doors and people walk in and then you negotiate a deal. It, there is so much more to the business. Certainly New York City, we deal with co-ops and other things that are particular to our market. Sure. But every market own particulars. I'd say it's certainly not as easy as you think it is. We're not, we're not doing brain surgery, but you have to know it. And there are so many nuances. And with my young members on my team, there are things that I just know because from experience that they would never know, but that I can predict again, but that's just, 
comes with, you know, my age, beauty, and wisdom. So during the pandemic, you know, I was sitting at home like everybody else. I did these video things and interviewed a whole lot of people. And uh, the number one response was talking about the brokers, talking about their business. Second one were the 20 questions. So I've revamped the 20 questions. I've taken out like, you're stuck in your house forever. What would you do? Here come the 20 questions I'm going to ask Steve. All right, you ready? Yeah. Sure. You, you said you're ready. Question number one. Beach or mountains? That is amazing because it always used to be beach and now I'm shifting to mountains. I think as you get older mountains, there's something soothing and quieter. It's so meditative and transcendental just to sit and watch the water of a lake. And I was comparing it to an ocean, which is frenetic, which I used to love, still yep. do, but I think it's becoming mountain. New construction or pre-war? Oh, that, that hasn't changed, pre-war. Ketchup or mustard? mustard all right which is better waking your kids up in the morning and hanging out with them or putting them to bed at night they're both annoying <laughs> <laughs> and great at the same time it depends on their moods putting them to bed at night when it can be very pancakes yeah. or waffles waffles these are really interesting questions they're deep they're very well let's also talk about the fact that the batter is exactly the same it comes in a box is... it says pancakes or waffles it's what you it's choose true. to do with it. It's the metaphor of life, pancakes or waffles, get, what you choose. You and your husband are going out to dinner. I'm paying any place in New York. Where are you going? Well, we're going to dinner tonight at Frenchette, so that's on my mind, so I'm not that's saying. what's going What would you prefer, preparing a board package or having root canal with a mild anesthetic? The board pack. I'd prefer the really? board pack. Online shopping or in-person retail? In-person retail. If the, if there's a good store with good service. Cable box or streaming? Streaming. Anything good? You know, I'm a little strange. I watch a lot of documentaries on religions and cults. French fries or onion rings? French fries. Your favorite band of all time? Bill Collins Genesis. I mean. oh, 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 that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Cars, gas or electric? Uh, hybrid. Cake or cupcake? This was Jillian's question. I thought this was actually pretty good. Probably cupcake. You know why we go with cupcake, right? There's more icing per square inch. And you know, you know the way to eat a cupcake. From the bottom yeah, up? So you split the, the cake part of it in half yes. and put the bottom part off of the icing. So then it's like a... Oh, so you make an Oreo upside down. Yeah, exactly. The things I learned hanging out with you, that's actually, that's pretty good. I'm telling you, very deep, very deep. What's your favorite new building in New York City in the last 20 years? I have to tell you, when 15 CPW was built, I thought it was magnificent. Yep. The lobby in particular. And I think that the lobby of 220 and all the amenities is pretty spectacular. Your favorite movie of all time. You get one. All right. Love Actually. Ballet or Broadway? Broadway musicals. Call or text? Call. Your favorite bagel flavor is? Mm, sesame. Last question. Your favorite New York City neighborhood is? That is so hard. You know, I've lived on the Upper West Side the whole time I'm in New York City. But uh, what I'll say is what intrigues me and where I'd personally check out. Sure. If I didn't have young in our whole life in school and everything was. That's the point. The thing near on the Upper West Side, I'd say Lower Fifth. But yes, you're right. There's a difference between where you want to live, where you want to sleep, and where you want yeah. to hang out. I completely agree. All right, last question. It's five, it's five years from now. What do you want to be doing professionally? What I'm doing now? Yeah, what I'm doing now at a different, uh, at a different pace. And I mean, we're headed there. So it's Good. just more, more of what is now. Good. Well, I get to hang out and, with you on properties, and it's always a pleasure. You're a true mensch. Thanks for taking time. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Yeah.